Mhm. Today we're going to be making some sloppy joes. Now, if you're not familiar with sloppy joes, the best way to describe it is basically a mincemeat sandwich. That is basically the best way I can describe it. And the authentic way, or the you know purest way of making sloppy joes, is to use fresh ground beef and make it from scratch. But today I will be using the seasoned burger patties that comes in the beef butcher box available at Massey stores. So I'll be using this and making my sloppy joes. So, you know, don't beat up, it's gonna taste good. It's our real best recipe. So let me get started. So the thing that let's make a sloppy joe, I guess sloppy, is the fact that the beef cooked down in a nice sauce. And I'm gonna give you, you no know, basic sauce. Obviously, I'm gonna give you a nice flavorful sauce and I'm gonna, you know, spice it up the way I know for spicing up things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add some tomato paste. Please do not use ketchup. Tomato paste. Then I'm gonna go in with some Worcestershire sauce, about two tablespoons. Tablespoon of ruku. I must spell ruku for Caribbean flavor. I mean, don't know. Some honey. Gonna add a little bit of sweetness to it. And then some paprika, a little smokiness, cayenne pepper, and of course you could adjust the amount of cayenne pepper that you use if you want it more spicy, it's up to you. A little bit of ground clove, it's a nice little, you know, kind of hidden spice up in there that'll give it a nice flavor. And last but not least, some roasted jeera. Boom. I'll mix this up. Yeah, and just like that, as easy as that, you have a nice sauce ready for our sloppy joes. I was going to taste it there. Mm hmm. And again, I'm going to add no salt to this because. The patties are seasoned, so they have some salt in them, and I will be seasoning up the veggies and thing when I'm cooking it. So I'm not adding any salt to the sauce. We will season as we go. So let me move on to the next step. Next thing you want to do is start prepping the aromatics. Now, the sloppy joe really shouldn't have no big set of texture to it besides the meat. I'm going in with some onion and garlic and uh, sweet pepper but I really don't want it to be like chunks up inside you know I want the sloppy joe to remain you know close to what a sloppy joe known for so I ain't adding no chunks of onion and thing inside it so I'm gonna make sure and slice it or dice it very thinly So I get a nice small dice on these onions. Next, I add in some sweet pepper. I kind of like to use sweet peppers when I'm doing like beef or mincemeat dishes. So going in with this, and this is not something you would typically find in a sloppy joe recipe but this is my version so we roll in with it and again same kind of fine dice on your sweet pepper you want nothing too chunky up in there mince a few cloves of garlic to remove the skin. And mincing garlic is not a rocket science, you know. I mean, basically you just wanna use the broad side of your blade. Just 
smash it up like this. And the thing about smashing it like this is that you get all the juice from the garlic coming out as well. So you're extracting most or more of the flavor out of the garlic. Just give it a little chop. Right. Now we're ready for the next step, which is to start grilling the burger patties. All right, to start the ball rolling, a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan. Too much. And now, I'm gonna go in with the patties. Squeeze them out like this. And of course, it don't matter if it break up or not because you're gonna break them up anyway. So flip it over to the other side. Let's have a cook. And see this little brown here, browning as we're going for. You wanna get a little caramelization happening on the meat that will build even more flavor into the dish. About two minutes pass and the meat well on the way here. I'm try to break it up. And I mean, if you look here, you could see a little specks of seasoning that you get in the patty. And you could smell it. It's smelling like, you know, the coriander, smelling, um, you know, pepper flakes. Have a spiciness to it. So you definitely don't have to worry about if this is gonna be well seasoned or not because it's already start off well seasoned. Start off on the right foot here, so from here it's just to build even more flavor into the dish. Now that we have a nice color going on the beef, we wanna start going in with the aromatics. So the onion, and of course. I'm just gonna let this cook for a while. Now, if you want, you could remove the beef from the pot, add some more oil, and then sort the aromatics by themselves, but that's not necessary at all. Because we're not adding any liquid to the pot as yet, you're still gonna get that whole saute action happening. So, fear not, we're good to go here. The onions moving along nicely, the nice and translucent. Now, I wanna add the garlic. Now I want to add the sweet peppers. If you're not a fan of sweet peppers, you could totally omit them. And if you wanted to use pimento in here, you could do that as well. Now at this point, I think it's a good time to go in with the sauce. So let's add the sauce. I mean, the all can only smell this right now. Smelling real good. Smelling the clove, smelling the jeera. Mm -hmm. We in the game here. So I added some water to the bowl that the sauce was in. I'm gonna add that into the pot. I mean, it's a sloppy joe, so it needs to have you know, some nice sauce action going on there. It had to be saucy. It definitely cannot have a dry, sloppy joke. At this point, I want to taste for salt. All right, so we need just a little bit of salt, not too much. Just a little touch of salt. Give that a mix. So you want to give it about uh, 10 minutes or so after you add the water. Just let it, you know, kusume and 
all the flavors just kind of marry together. And at this point, that is it, you know. All the kusumain has happened. All the flavors are married, happily married. So now the next thing, or the only thing left to do is to build our sandwich. So now I have a nice little bun here. I'm gonna fix myself a sandwich. Now I'll tell all you, I probably in the minority here, right? But I really don't like a whole set of meat in my sandwich when I'm making a sandwich. My meat to bread ratio is not where everybody else owns this be. So you see this one spoon of meat? That are real good for me. I know some people are like two spoon or even three spoon and the meat pile up big, big and it's spilling out of the sandwich. I mean, yes, that is the whole sloppy part of the sloppy joe. But if I'm making a sandwich for myself, which I am, this is good enough for me. I promise you though, the sandwich that I make for the final shot gonna be nice and lavish and thing. But you know, as a tasting, this is my vibe right here. Mm. We in the game. Mm -hmm. We in the game. Real nice spice action happening with all the spices from the patty and then the additional spices we add in. You know, the paprika, the cayenne pepper, the chira, and the clove doing the most there. The honey kind of balances it off with our sweetness. And then again, the tartness from the tomato paste. Yeah, man. This is our winner. If you like this recipe, please give the video a thumbs up and give it a share. And if you do try it, please post your photos to social media. Tag us in them. We'd love to see it. And don't frighten, a link to the recipe can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.